Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome and welcome back to Stars Line Oracle YouTube channel. I'm the Lucky Stars community. Cat Star over here with your general reading for the week of August 5th through 11th. Now, I hope that date's right, as I didn't have a calendar to check the date. So, the 5th through the 11th is what we're going with. All right. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody, so please do take what is for you and leave what isn't for those of you liking and sharing the videos. Thank you so, so much. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. I also want to give a huge shout out to all of the new and returning viewers and subscribers and to our amazing, amazing channel members. Thank you all so, so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. All right, well, happy Monday, y'all. I hope you had a fabulous weekend. We're going to jump right on into this general reading for you. I do want to say, though, if you have where I am, we had some schools that started today already. It seems so early, but hey, I, I, I don't know. So if you have children going back to school, um, hopefully you're ready for it, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it just seems so early. I'm like, hey. Aren't we just at the beginning of August? It's just really early, but I don't know. Um, congrats and or I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what to say, actually. It's sometimes back to school is like, yes, I'm so ready for it. And other times it's bittersweet, like, oh, it's too soon. I don't want them to go back. So wherever you are, I understand. Okay. Reflect on what you are believing. This is your first one out. So some of you may be believing or thinking or having an idea um, that isn't beneficial for you this week, okay? So pay attention to what you're thinking, um, the beliefs that are coming through. This could be about yourself, others, situations, experiences. It could be any way around, okay? Reflect on that. Is that beneficial? Is that helping you? Is it worth it to keep believing something that you might have been believing or that you have become aware of believing? Is it is, is it beneficial? Should you keep doing it? Could you, this is a little sideways, could you create a new belief, step into a new kind of way of thinking, a new mindset? Could you learn more? Could you get some more information? Could you research a little bit? Is there something that could happen, come through, be beneficial for you, that could assist you with that? If it is a belief that is good, that you enjoy, that it wasn't created um, from childhood or from somebody else's ideas or what have you, uh, great, hold on to it if, if it's something amazing, okay? Um, but for some of you, some of the beliefs that you've been holding have been holding you back, holding you down, okay? So it's time to shift the script, okay? What is it that you're believing? Is it helping you? For some, it's going to be very beneficial to write down Okay. Take a look, take an inventory, reflect on your life this week. Okay. We're in a new month. This is the fifth as of recording this of August new month. Okay. We are in the eighth month, right? So we are getting dang close to getting closer to a new year, the end of the month, the, the holidays, all the things like, oh, sigh, right? Um, is what you have been believing like the inventory, take, again, take an inventory. That's where we were, okay? Take an inventory of your life. Look out, see what is re being reflected back to you as far as your money, as far as your career, as far as your relationships, as far as your environment, as far as your wants, wishes, needs, as far as the people, the connections, how you show up, your health, all of the things, right, that, that pertain to you, okay? Um, and is it in a space that you want it to be. If not, what are you, what do you think about it? What are your beliefs about it? Kind of where does your mind go to when you give yourself that chance to reflect on it? Is it how you want it? And then what is it that you're holding? See, write all of that down and you'll begin to see the loops, the patterns, the beliefs that continue to show up that create that kind of environment, the energy um, around you and or that continuance of it. Okay. So a little assignment this week here, Aquarius, um, really get down to the nitty gritty, the understanding, the deeper levels of what the beliefs are and or how they continue to show up and or reflect within your reality. Okay. 
You got the nine of matches, resilience, persistence, strong will, okay? Some of you are very resilient. Some of you are very persistent. Some of you really, really hold on to those beliefs, even if they're not benefiting you, even if they're hurting you, even if they're holding you down or holding you back. We can hold on to that ish like it, like no tomorrow, right? Like no tomorrow. And no matter what, sometimes we can hold on to a confirmation bias that will show us everything that will continue to keep that belief alive and real for us, even if it's not beneficial. Again, if your beliefs, if your life is freaking amazing, for starters, why are you watching tarot videos, okay? Um, but second of all, if your beliefs are amazing, wonderful, beautiful, this doesn't resonate or this doesn't pertain to you unless there's something deeper that you do need to look out for and or maybe you need to persist in your beliefs because you have built them up and you have shifted things and everything is going amazing so continue be resilient within that okay if you're doing affirmations if you're working on your mindset if you're shifting things around if your perspective is changing if you're looking for other perspectives to really make ideas solidly based off of research or actual knowledge instead of just being like and eh, this is what or or what have you whatever it may be for you specifically okay stay resilient in that but and or if you are holding on to them and being persistent and resilient uh within beliefs or ideas or patterns or loops or limitations that aren't benefiting you stop it okay stop it and you've got that little assignment that came through okay what else you've got easy and effortless okay so let's go back to this belief thing okay your life gets to be easy and effortless do you believe that yes or no Okay. It's like the check the box, yes or no. Do you believe that your life gets to be easy and effortless? Okay, because it can be. Now, whoa, 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 rewind, rewind, rewind. Yes, it can be. That doesn't mean there won't be challenges. That doesn't mean that sometimes there won't be struggles. When you are first born, when you learn to walk, you are challenged with that. This is a struggle. You stand up, you fall back down. You stand up, you fall back down. But what happens many times Nine times out of ten, I would venture to guess, unless there's a reason, babies don't just sit down and decide to not ever stand up. They continue. Okay? They continue until it is easy and effortless. All right? That is what, is, that is what this message is, is coming through to be here, of course, that it gets to be easy and effortless. Maybe not from the very beginning. What are you believing? Reflect on that. Are those beliefs helping you? Are they benefiting you? Are they hindering you? Are they holding you back? See what it is. Do the assignment. Write everything down. See where it's coming from. Get to the deeper kind of nitty gritty parts of it. And then allow for yourself to begin to shift that. In the beginning, will it be easy and effortless? Probably not. It will probably be challenging. It'll probably feel like a struggle. And yet, as you persist and are resilient, oh, look at that nine of, nine of wands, nine of matches coming through here, right? Then it becomes easy and effortless. Then you don't have to think about it. Then it just becomes your natural habit, your natural thought process. Your subconscious mind is like, oh, we've got this. We know exactly what this is, easy and effortlessly. Okay. All right. Next one here. Ace of matches. See? inspiration opportunity potential okay ace of wands so you've got a lot of passion coming through here with that wands energy you've got a lot of like uh, wands energy always feels fiery like almost in your face like you know what be i've got this i know exactly what i'm doing i'm like know exactly how to get there even in those moments where it you don't it's almost like there's this new belief of brewing okay yeah you're reflecting on it. you got these new beliefs of brewing where you're like mm-hmm I got this. Show me what you got because I will come back bigger, leaner, stronger. Okay. Um, that's kind of what's coming through here. Super inspired. The opportunities, the potentials continue to show up and you're ready for them. And even if that's a little bit of a struggle, or a little bit of a challenge in the beginning, it becomes easy and effortless, easy and effortless as you continue to stay in that strong energy, right? Continue to stay in that persistence. Continue to be resilient. Nothing's going to knock me down. I'm just going to bounce right back. I'm going to bounce right back. I'm going to bounce right back. This is that energy that's coming through this week. Once you begin to see or kind of reflect on and maybe do the assignment. It keeps coming through. Do that assignment, of course. Do that assignment on your beliefs, their potentials, the the opportunity, you've always been way more 
um, had way more potential than you've ever given yourself credit for, <clears throat> for starters, of course, way, way more potential. And some people may not have given you a lot of, of credit for your potential any either. They might've discredited you and your potential at some points. That doesn't mean it was true. Right. But sometimes we believe that. Okay. Um, the opportunities show up, that inspiration shows up, that passion, that fire, that, Oh, I'm in your face here. Cause I know I can do it. Energy begins to grow and it begins to be easy and effortless. That confidence, that self-esteem, that yes, I've got this begins to grow. Okay. That this, this week, this week, Aquarius, this is a game changer. This week could be a game changer for you, depending on what you decide here. Okay. And he goes, all eyes on you, all eyes on you, ooh, all eyes on you, ooh, Aquarius, see, all eyes are on you this week. What are you going to do? Okay. This is giving me jills. All, what are you going to do? You got all eyes on you. And isn't it interesting that these two, even though these are meant to be like eyes, have the dots, easy and effortless, all eyes on you. Okay. This one has kind of a star over here in the corner, but these ones, it's almost as if. The eyes, right? The, I mean, everybody is looking at you. You are an inspiration. The opportunities, your potential, it's its growing, it's building, it's blossoming, it's unfolding. And its everybody can see it. Everybody's watching. Everybody's seeing. And you're inspiring other people this week, Aquarius. This is gorgeous, okay? You have temperance coming in, okay? Yep, it's going to take patience and we talked about the balance you've got balance you've got inspiration so see you've got inspiration here and you have inspiration coming in here okay sometimes that slow and steady here with that kind of turtle wins the race this is the most beautiful way to again i have i have chills i have goosebumps it's the most beautiful way to end this reading Sometimes it takes a bit to be able to understand, to unlock, to be able to see all the eyes on you, um, those beliefs and how they might be hurting you or holding you back or keeping you down or away from what it is that you really say that you want. Sometimes the stuff that we say that we want when we do something like this assignment that, that came through here, um, sometimes the things that we say that we want, we realize that we don't really want them. That's why we're not really going after them, okay? So this could take some patience, but you've got double inspiration coming through. Not only the inspiration that you're feeling here, of course, but all the, the, also the inspiration that you are being and showing up as for other people when all eyes are on you here, okay? Um, this, this reading is really quite amazing, just like you are, okay? Um, and the 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 shifting of beliefs into that or that reminder that spirit needed to come through for you to remember that um is is pretty um priceless okay um so aquarius this week again it could be a game changer if you allow yourself to start with that first part that first piece okay reflect on what you are believing because you know what you are believing whether you know it or not, you are an inspiration to others. All eyes are on you. Somebody is looking up to you. Somebody is always being inspired by you. Even if you don't think that that's true or that you are somebody to look up to or to be an inspiration to others, it still happens, okay? So also, if you're believing things that are limiting, that are that are um, kind of clouding or, or um, not being in that full potential, uh, which we aren't always, but right, not seeing that limiting yourself or holding yourself back or keeping yourself down. Other people will begin to believe that too, that are looking up to, that are inspired by you. So, um, you know, th th it's almost like that energy of, of, um, kind of the, the, the person that you, that you are showing up as, is somebody that has that, but I, I, what is coming through here? And it's, it's coming through a little muddled here a little bit, but it's almost like that big brother, big sister or mother, um, father kind of where like the child or somebody younger or, or, and it doesn't have to be that, but that's, that's the imagery that I'm seeing is looking up to. So if you're saying the things like there's that country song where the little boy says the, the S word, 
right? He said the sort of with an S and whatever. I don't know what the song is or he even who sings it, but it's just coming to mind. Um, I'll look it up after this and I'm sure I'll hear it at some point now because I've brought it to my conscious mind to listen for it. Um, but it's, it's almost like that. Like if you're saying things or doing things and you're believing things that are not beneficial, somebody else, you've got all eyes on you. Somebody else is seeing that and beginning to believe that as well. And it's not beneficial to you, right? So it won't be beneficial probably to them either. Sometimes we hold on to defense mechanisms, to um, kind of ideas or stories that we learned way back when, or that kept us safe at one point. But that's why we need to reflect on it. Because is it really keeping you safe now or is it holding you back? You probably have outgrown that and probably don't need that anymore. But it's time, but, but it still may be running or you still may be using that in the background, even sometimes without even knowing it. So when you write it down, when you do this assignment, when you look at it all, when you bring it to the the conscious level, when you get to the nitty gritty, you can begin to shift that, to change your perspective, to move into a new idea, a new belief, a new understanding, and begin to loop that. So that is what is important for you during this week, Aquarius, within this general message is to really take a look, to let it become easy and effortless as you begin to uh, stay persistent, stay resilient, practice, 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 and begin to have that become your new normal. Okay. Um, and remember that all eyes are in you, not only for that inspiration and looking up to, but because also because people see what you're doing and they're like, oh, Christ, I see you. I see you. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave it there. I do intend this resonated with you and for you. If it did, please do hit the like button and share this video. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. Also, feel free to hit the subscribe button right down below and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload new readings. It is free for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and it does support the Lucky Stars community in growing and thriving. As always, I do wish you lots of hope, lots of joy, and lots and lots of love. I'm trying to do that. Is that the heart? Yeah, lots and lots of love. I don't know if it is or not, but with all of your current and future endeavors, I'll see you in the next reading.